All right, what's up everyone? This is, I'm actually not doing this vlog. So I, over the summer, had the chance to train with the new trainees, G34. And while I was there, I let them kind of take the, the camera and talk. So it was the end of their PSTs. They talked a lot about culture, uh, training, and just memories of the time they had. So just want to give them the space to talk. I've actually grown really used to the food here. I, I love it. My host mom makes really good like salads and everything for me, so I eat very well in Kenya. I really like potato leaf sauce and rice. Um, and so it's like they take potato leaves and they just cut them in their hands and it's super cool and I've got to do it. It's super fun. And so you like shred potato leaves and then you put a bunch of like seafood in it. There's like crab in there. Sometimes they put mussels in there and fish. And then they eat like all sorts of other things, and then you put it over rice, and it's delish. They greeted me with a great plate of rice and crab sauce. Very do, very good. <laughs> you get used to it after a while, but it's very good. So there's the white eggplant, which is super bitter, super small, super bitter. You think it's disgusting, but you just gotta like smash it into oblivion and mix it in with everything else and that's just like that's good nutrients you feel good afterwards i have so i have like three older sisters and then my little sister who's 12 and my little sister who's 12 has like the best friend in the family so i talk to her most of the time my best friend's a 12 year old which is great um and she's wonderful and she's super smart so we hang out most of the time my favorite thing to do with my host family is to sit on the front porch and watch people walk by <laughs> Basically, anytime anyone walks by, I I feel compelled to, because of the culture here, um, to greet them with a uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, how was your day, have you seen any evil today? That's the phrase in Susu, um, and it's definitely different than in the States, and where I come from in the States, so um, it's just beautiful to be able to feel more connected to your neighbors and people who just walk by in the streets, yeah. Just like making time for the family and seeing what they do um, is a good way to integrate. Otherwise, you, you there's a side of them that's just like any other family that kind of just sits around and watches TV. But if you really find the time just to be with them, then they will show you different fabrics that you can make clothes out of. So, uh, celebrating uh, my birthday with my host family was really cute when they smeared icing all over my face. The kids turned on the TV and they were playing music videos and everyone was dancing and the little kids, my little um, host siblings, they got my two hands and they pulled me from my chair from where I was sitting and they begged me to dance with them and so we just spent an hour or two just dancing to the music videos on TV. I learned the shoko shoko, <laughs> which was really fun. I absolutely adore my host mom, even though we don't have a lot of like actual language communication. We speak in Susu, which is the, the local language here, um, a little bit of French and like a lot of hand motions. She's taught me how to make peanut butter. That was the first thing that she realized I can eat because I'm vegetarian, which was very like shocking. So. Um, we make peanut butter together and like learning the whole process with her I think has been one of my favorite experiences and she's always really excited when she like finds something else that I can eat, so. From day one I've always, I've been impressed with the program setup. Um, I feel very prepared in general for sight. So practice school is a three week period where we get to teach and practice teaching Ghanaian students from the surrounding Dubeka area at the local high school. And so there are students all the way from the middle school equivalent through high school, which is um, seventh grade through terminal. And we get to teach for third, three weeks and we get about 30 hours of actual teaching hours experience. So each week uh, we're actually lucky enough to be able to develop an evaluation for our class and then each week um, we get to give our class a test at the end so that's on Friday and so they get a grade for each week and then right now what we're doing is we're combining all the grades um, from all the weeks. 
and getting their average. So we're going to rank the students and then tomorrow there's a big uh, celebration of the end of practice school where we get to uh, give out some awards for students that did really well. Uh, so part of our PST is we have lang te lang language technical training which is where we take our French knowledge and combine it with our teaching knowledge and so we do a lot of practice um, sessions where we practice doing our teaching in French, particularly with biology, um, well particularly with chemistry and, bio and physics. Um, biology is not as common for volunteers to teach, but I and another person in our stage are teaching biology, so we did some extra practice outside of those technical trainings um, to learn the vocabulary and then like learn practice our French so that we could explain those biological concepts better. So I came in with a little bit of French, um, enough uh, that during the language uh, lang tech sessions, you know, they teach us polynome, monome, vector, blanc, uh, but really it's like a lot of just research and planning and using your, your, your resources to to learn to self-taught, learn those words yourself. So I did come to PSD having taught French for seven years. Um, so I got to start Polar um, about midway through PST. And uh, I have to say it was quite a challenge. Learning a new language is not something I've done in a little while. And uh, that learning curve in the beginning has definitely been something to get used to. The process of learning it is honestly sitting on your front porch with your host grandma drinking tea and asking her, what does this mean? How do you say this? And writing things in your kaye, like the language acquisition process is so natural and polar is a really beautiful rhythmic language. When I use my polar greetings, all I can do is greet right now. And people complimented me on what wonderful polar I spoke and were very encouraging. So even if I don't feel like I'm fluent in Polar yet, and it's going to be a little while before I get there, it's at least nice to know that people appreciate the effort and that they'll be more accepting if I make a small effort to try the greeting and then continue in French afterwards. I think, um, generally speaking, it kind of, uh, like, knowing people's language here is really important and, like, is a really big part of integrating here. And even if you just know salutations, it really helps, and it really helps you connect with people. Yeah, it's been a really fun time to learn a new language. Um, kind of has a lot of ups and downs, but it's been fun. I think one of my favorite memories from PST is uh, one lazy Saturday when we were just hanging around and we went to the restaurant that was really close to the bureau here to get some shawarma. Um, we all split shawarma and couscous and it was just a really nice time to get to know some of the other people from the group and you know just spending time with each other and getting to know each other on a different level has been a really rewarding experience here. I, my host family has two dogs, actually, and they walk to school every morning. Uh, they sometimes follow me into school and like sleep under desks. Um, and I think everyone in my stage pretty much knows Daisy and Mark. Uh, yeah, my, my mom actually sent me a care package with uh, two toys and treats. <laughs> my favorite memories of PSD was going to the Cascades. And that was after some of the first couple of weeks that we were in country. Um, and it was just a really wonderful and refreshing moment and a wonderful time to just reflect under these roaring waterfalls. It was, it was really beautiful. I really enjoyed that. All right, I hope you all enjoyed that. If you got any more questions for them, leave them in the comments and I'll be sure to ask them and, and see if we can get any responses for you all. But uh, in the meantime, like, like, subscribe do the things um take care and we'll see you next week